What is up everybody? This is John with Archerfish. I am back at Lake Castaic. I cannot stay away right now. Too much top water stuff going on. The bass bite is tough, uh, even though they're boiling quite a bit, but I'm gonna give it a shot. There's a couple points right here. I can see them going off. It is a little windy, so it may be tricky. Hopefully I can get on a nice little bite real quick. Oh, he's trying, he's trying. That was either a big bass or a striper. I got a chunker on this little, uh, on this little tube bait. Beast. I saw him eat it and spit it out and then he came back to eat it again. They're keyed in on this tiny, tiny bait. That's where I saw him the other day. It's a good fish. Look at this guy. They're hanging out in this little cove. The other day. Look at this. Honestly, it's not that big, but this is one of the bigger fish I've caught recently here. So that was awesome, and I got to watch him eat it. Very cool. Got one. Got dog. Oh, got off. Well, some quick early morning boils, lots of little bass. Looked like I had that nice striper uh, going after. Looks like he hit it pretty good. Either that was a big bass, but either way, they're going after it. And then that was it. I cannot get them to bite anything. They're boiling pretty good once again. Uh, kind of slowed down really fast. Uh, typically, they're boiling for hours back here, but it seems like they're pretty much done which can be a good thing, man. It means I, I I may have to go looking for striper and maybe I'll get lucky on the other side of the lake and the striper will be going off. Wow, it's all bass, dude. Yeah. Gotcha, buddy. I knew you were down there. <laughs> Little dude, but hey, needed a fish. All right, since the bass catching can be tough, obviously they're all boiling. I mean, just hundreds and hundreds of bass boiling on the other side of the barrier, which sucks. The lifeguard kicked us out. Um, I didn't see any striper, but the tighter boils, I think, were striper, and it's just so many fish. It's maddening. All the winds brush uh, going that way and uh, there's tons of little minnows all up and down there and they're all just blown in there. So I don't imagine the, those uh, fish coming out anytime soon. But anyway, what I'm doing, that last fish I just caught, I'm in this little cove and you see this little rock pile that comes down into the water and you see that it goes down. So what I did was knowing that it's hot and it's a little later in the summer, you know, I just cast out where you think they're going to be. You know, you can get a sense of what the depth is without a depth finder and just sort of go down in layers, you know. I went out about 15 feet, there's grass down here too, and then about 20 feet. And I've just kind of been working different levels in the, in the water column until I find out, you know, where the fish are and where I can get a bite. Come on, man. Come on. Got one on the crank, baby. <laughs> good fish, good fish. Crankbait fish. <laughs> oh, it's a good one. Now that is a good fish. Look at this guy, probably a heavy two and a half, maybe just awesome. On the crank, my first crankbait fish. That was so cool.
That is just funny because I was just going uh, back and forth with Juan yesterday. He wants to come out specifically for a crank baiting uh, session and we we're kind of discussing the conditions and whatnot. And he's of the mind that it's like the good, perfect conditions and the way the bass have been schooling, I could agree. I'm always like very leery about the crankbait and, and stuff like that in this lake. So it's just funny because I was like, we we're planning on a trip Monday and I'm like, yeah, let's do it, man. Let's try something new. And sure enough, I get my first fish on a crankbait just now. And also spoke too soon about the tatula. I uh, finally got a fish on it and it, it is fantastic. It's, uh, it's a great rod and reel setup. So I'm gonna keep throwing this. It is a um, medium diving square bill you know, um, KVD, I believe. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna get back to this. Man, I don't know if you guys watch my Florida videos. I got a whole playlist of Florida videos. I go twice a year. I just get into great big saltwater fish and it is fantastic. Um, I'm about to be doing it soon next month. So it just, chasing these striper gets me so primed because like the striper pipe you know gets going and all i want to do is catch big saltwater fish that peel drag so i'm so happy to be going to uh, florida next month to fish with my dad um one of my favorite things so uh, i hope you guys stay tuned and watch those videos because it is a blast and i usually get into some really good fish down there snook redfish uh trout big jacks, anything I can get my hands on, and, and it's so much fun. That's what this gets me pumped for because I love these strong saltwater fish. Shout out to Mike and Greg and Wake and Fish. Good to see you guys. I'll see you next time on the water.